Today we are heading to Goryo Kaku and then to Cape Kamui, one of the most famous sightseeing spots in Hokkaido. When I was working, it was hard to get up in the morning, but now I can wake up in the morning in a very good mood. The reason why Goryo Kaku is pentagonal is that a round or square shape would create an angle where the defender could not see when they are attacked. This method of construction is widely used in Europe. A car dressed as a panda stares at you. It must be Halloween. Is it just me? My speed slows down when I pass a panda car. By the way, my driver's license is shining gold. I can boast only that I have no accidents and no violations. I will drive safely on this trip. I cannot afford to pay a fine. The oceans and other bodies of water cover about 70% of the Earth's surface, of which only 0.02% is drinkable by humans. Water is precious. A couple in front of me. The embodiment of happiness. Something that did not exist in my youth. We are now going to visit the famous statue of Dr. Clark in Boys Be Ambitious. Dr. Clark is said to have been recruited by the Japanese government at a salary of about $1 million per year and is a very elite man. He is also ridiculously strong in fights. Although Dr. Clark stayed in Japan for only about 8 months, he had a tremendous impact on Japanese agriculture. In particular, he is said to have influenced the cultivation of potatoes, carrots, onions, and other crops, and without him, curry rice would not have spread in Japan. Thank you, Dr. Clark. Also, his most famous quote, boys, be ambitious was actually boys, be ambitious like me. You have to be very sure of yourself to say, have ambition like me. The number four phrase he would like to say someday is, leave this to me and go ahead. By the way, his finger is said to be pointing at the faraway eternal mind. I don't understand what smart people say. Next, we headed for the Hokkaido Museum of Development. I have nothing special to say. I call a person who can endure silence a friend. If you can endure this three second silence, you can already be called a friend. Now that we've become friends, let me tell you the story behind this channel. When I decided to upload my videos of my round the Japan trip to YouTube, I searched for a format that would allow everyone to enjoy the videos and came up with two ideas. One was to use the current format, with a narrator using a machine voice, and the other was to imitate the voice of an anime character to deliver a round the Japan video. I tried to practice my voice imitation of animated characters, but I had no talent. It was very difficult to imitate his unique vocal tone, and after two days of practice, I was not able to imitate the animated character's voice. It was a regrettable experience. As you can see, life is a series of choices from beginning to end. When I see two roads in front of me, I consult with myself and my friends to decide which road to take. If you turn left on a road that you would normally turn right on, you will see a different view every day. If you don't like all the paths you see in front of you, you can make your path. 80 years is far too long a time to continue walking on a path made by others. It doesn't matter if you are losing now, as long as you are winning by the time you die. Let's go to the next destination called Moranuma Park. I think this park was worth seeing. The park is so big that many people rented bicycles, but I am a loner, so I didn't rent a bicycle. I recommend you to go to this tourist spot with a good heart because more than 90% of the visitors are couples or families. I apologize for assuming that everyone watching this video is a loner, but that is probably true. You are the only one who should be on my side. 
This park is famous for its long staircases. There was even a pyramid-like place where the grandparents' generation would end up looking up from below. Although my mental age was low, my pride was as high as Mount Everest, so I whipped my body into shape to make the climb. I hope they didn't notice that I was using the fast-forward method to cover up my shaky hands. The view from the top of the mountain and the smiling faces of the people taking commemorative photos are beautiful. I don't mind helping university students take pictures. Next, we head to Cape Kamui. It is said that Cape Kamui is the Japanese version of the Great Wall of China, and the scenery is breathtaking. Incidentally, it used to be a place where women were not allowed to enter. This was never decided with discriminatory intent, but rather to prevent women from entering dangerous places and getting hurt. Cape Kamui is a sightseeing spot with such historical sensitivity. Here is a typical Hokkaido experience. In Hokkaido, nature is so magnificent that insects repeatedly hit my helmet while riding a motorcycle. I have experienced insect entrails splattering my helmet at least five times a day while riding. It takes quite a long time to walk from the parking lot to Cape Kamui, so it is best to allow plenty of time for your visit. Also, the footing is not good in many places, so women are advised to wear sneakers instead of heels. This is the reason why this area is called the top of Bali in Japan. The topography is unique, jutting out into the ocean, and even in Hokkaido, which is a treasure trove of nature, this kind of view is not seen in many places. It would be a shame to die without seeing such a wonderful and spectacular view in the country of my birth. This is what I wanted to see. After this, I headed to a budget hotel in Sapporo. On the way there, I should have had a quick look at the Otaru Canal, but I didn't find a place to park my bike. People tend to think that it is easy to go anywhere on a motorcycle trip, but there are surprisingly few parking lots, and it often takes a long time to park. In the future, I would like to buy a camper and stay at a roadside station while visiting tourist spots. Waking up. It is a joy to wake up without an alarm. I was about to leave smoothly when I noticed that the engine of my motorcycle would not start. I look closely and see that the bike's key is bent. My character is not this distorted, though. When you go on a round the Japan trip or a long trip, it is advisable to take a spare key with you. If you lose or break your key and you don't have a spare, you are finished. I know a friend of mine who lost his car keys deep in the mountains of Yakushima, and I will never forget the look on his face when he lost his car keys after climbing a mountain for six hours. The most memorable thing about Yakushima was not the 4,000-year-old Yakusugi cedar, but his 22-year-old face. Finally, we headed for what is probably the most famous road in Hokkaido, the Ororan Line. This is the road from Sapporo to Wakanai, the northernmost point of Hokkaido and is also known as the Room of Spirit and Time because it is a straight line for more than 200 kilometers. It is recommended that you make something to pass the time during this time. You will be bored after 20 minutes. In the parking area, you will encounter many motorcycles. One of the most common reasons is that it is embarrassing to park next to a bike that is the same as yours. It is probably the same feeling you get when you get on a train wearing Uniqlo clothes and see someone else wearing the same clothes nearby. You buy from Uniqlo because you want to be safe, but you don't feel good when you wear the same clothes. In psychology, this contradiction is called the Uniqlo syndrome. Next time, we will upload part 3 of our Hokkaido trip. I will be more than happy if this video can help you pass the time and enjoy your daily life. See you in the next video.